Yo, what is going on Raptors fans? It is your boy Demi and I'm back with another video. If you are new and you need to do three things, make sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And we basically got another subscriber today as we're at 115 subs. So if we can get to 20 subs ASAP, that is pretty much a goal to make. So in today's video, we're talking about a former Raptors player today, if you don't know, by the name of Landry Fields. Landry Fields pretty much was all around the league. He only played for two teams in being the Raptors and the New York Knicks. And his career was basically, he was dealing with injuries so he couldn't really play a lot. But yeah, Landry Fields for his time playing in the NBA, he played five seasons in the NBA, like I said, for his time being the New York Knicks and the Toronto Raptors from 2010 to 2015. So he didn't last in the NBA really long. As for now, Landry Fields, he's basically the general manager of the Atlanta Hawks after being promoted to assistant GM back a couple years ago. As for Landry in the 2010 draft for the second pick at 39, he was selected by the New York Knicks in the 2010 draft. For Landry Fields, he wore many numbers like 6 and number 2 as he played for his time in New York. As for Landry Fields, for his time going to the NBA, he had a league leading 22 points per game and 8.8 .8 rebounds per game, and he won a first team in his nation. But on to the NBA, after Landry Field was selected by the New York Knicks, the 39th pick in the NBA draft, Landry Field joined the New York Knicks in a summer league where he averaged 15.6 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 1.6 steals per game. On August 26, 2010, he signed a rookie year deal with the New York Knicks as the summer league went well. Then Landry Field went on to win the Rookie of the Month honors for the Eastern Conference in November and December of the 2010 year. Then on January 6, he scored a career high 25 points and 10 rebounds in a win versus the Philadelphia 76ers for the New York Knicks. Basically, Landry Field, he basically had a strong season and was named to the All NBA Rookie First Team as for a strong season efforts. But then two years later, the New York Knicks basically for Lanny Field, they basically tested the offer to make Lanny Field a free agent. And then basically Lanny Field came to Toronto Raptors. And basically Lanny Field signed a three-year deal, $20 million offer sheet from the Toronto Raptors as the Knicks declined to match the offer sheet. After a time in New York for the Toronto Raptors, they really expect Lanny Field to develop into a good and solid role player. But basically injuries continue to develop for Landry's career. He basically really struggled to play for Toronto Raptors as he was particularly out due to injury as he played just 81 games over the franchise or for two seasons. But yeah, as I was saying for Lanny Field, during his time with New York, he basically got that big offer sheet in Toronto and he basically did not play a lot of games with the Toronto Raptors as he only played only 81 games in the first season of the franchise. And the reason why he basically was in and out of the lineup because he was dealing with many problems in his arm and basically just his shooting in general as he lost his hand movement. Basically, this reason why was Landry Field had several surgeries to repair a nerve in his right arm and he needed consistent rehabilitation as, as he had to learn a new shooting form. So his mechanical shooting is pretty much rough. Then basically for a time in Toronto, it pretty much not really good for Landry Fields. Then he became an unrestricted free agent basically in July 2015 and he underwent surgery for a hip tear and was rolled out for five months. Then he sat out for a 2015 and 2016 season. Then basically, Landy Field's career then came to a close. After after a time in the NBA, in September 2016, Landy Field was in the college scout for the San Antonio Spurs. After Landy Field's career as it ended, he was basically a scout for the San Antonio Spurs and working three seasons as a college scout. Then the same led to him basically going to the Atlanta Hawks as for his executive career. Then basically in September 2019, Landry Field was named the Spurs. On October 2nd, 2020, Landry Field was named the general manager of the Atlanta Hawks. Then two years later, Landry Field basically was the Atlanta Hawks GM as, it's, as their assistant GM stepped down. But basically that's basically Landry Field's story. He didn't really play a lot for the Raptors and he basically was in and out of the lineup and basically why he didn't play in the NBA was due to his injury history. But yeah, as for Lanny Field, he didn't really do a lot. You only got your average about, you can say almost as high as was 4 points per game. Then the next season he had 2.3 points per game. Then the next season he had 1.8 points per game where he's pretty much useless. And basically his 3 point percentage wasn't really out the floor. His first year in Toronto he shot 14 from 3. Then the second year he didn't shoot anything. His last year in Toronto he shot only 50%. And basically he's only on 1 point per game. That's really the story of Lanny Field to be honest. And um... And Landry Fields was on some TV shows like the Andy and Landry show. 
Daniel's also on the Sing Your Face Off show. Daniel is basically on many TV shows that you may not have heard of. For Lenny Field, he basically went to a second round through to basically a nobody, and that basically threw in Lenny Field's career, wondering why he didn't play in the NBA. Dude, it was because his injury history and basically his need for surgery that he got injured multiple times in the basketball court, and that was for many reasons why. So honestly, that's the third of Landry Field for his time with the Toronto Raptors. And if y'all enjoyed this video, and it's not really basically exciting, it's basically relaxing and calm. So if y'all are new, please be sure to like button, comment, subscribe, and it's your boy, Demi. And I got more Raptors content coming each and every day. And be sure to subscribe. I'm out. Peace.